YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the 52nd episode of my Android Like Career Mode. In this episode, we're going to be playing four games and three in the Barclays Premier League and also one game in the Champions League, so that should be pretty cool. We start off this episode with a game against Tottenham and the squad I'm rocking with is Vieto, Mitrovic, Pogba, Thielmans, Bentaleb, Fair, Adriano, Vendik, Zula, Byram, and Zeller in goal, so hopefully you can get the job done against Spurs. But at the start of the game, it's going to be Vargas. Vargas running down the wing. Eduardo Vargas whips in across, and it's going to be Lewis Holtby who wins that header, but his header just goes wide of the post, so no goal for Tottenham right there. But it's Eric Lamella looking to give Tottenham the lead. Gives up to Kapua. Kapua plays the through ball inside of Vargas. Vargas goes around. He has the shot, but it just goes wide of the post. So some good attacks from Tottenham early, and that would be the end of the first half. So um, Tottenham kind of dominated that first half right there, so hopefully we can do something better in the second half to maybe get the lead, and here comes Neville Bentaleb on the ball right here, he gives it outside to Sam Byram, Byram run down the wing, he's going to stop, he's going to turn, gives it upside, Alexander Mitrovic, who has the shot, but it's right into Vorm's hands, now Kapue on the ball, gives it up to Vargas, Vargas dribbling it down, he holds it up, plays it back outside to Paulinho, Paulinho on the ball right here, he's dribbling it down, he plays the through ball, it's Andres Townsend, his shot deflected, safe, and then a rebound header, and it's going to be one nothing Tottenham, Andres Townsend puts Tottenham in the lead right there, so very disappointing, but here comes Paul Pogba, Pogba, run down the wing, he's going to stop, he's going to go around the Tottenham defender, has the shot, oh, Paul Pogba, unbelievable, his seventh league goal, and he continues his streak of scoring in every single league game he has played, that shot just goes wide from Tottenham, and that would be the end of the game, so we still remain our unbeaten record in the league, I believe, so far. And here we go into a match against Liverpool. You can see a lineup right there. I'm giving Mark and another game right here, and also Baker. So some changes to the starting eleven. But it's Mitrovic on the ball right here inside of Lallana. Lallana who whips it across to Karim Benzema, who smashes it home as the former Real Madrid striker puts Liverpool in the lead right here with a fantastic volley off the cross from Adam Lallana. So they were working pretty well in this game. But here comes Paul Pogba, hoping to tie the game for Andrelik. He stops. He goes around, gets it past Origi, then plays a one-two with Unal. It's going to be Pogba running down the wing. Here he goes. Has a shot. Jones saved, but the rebound is put in by Paul Pogba. And it's going to be Anderlecht 1 and Liverpool 1. So, great to get a goal against one of our main rivals in Liverpool right here as Paul Pogba does continue the streak of scoring in every single league game. But it's Liam Moore. He plays the through ball into Eni Sunal. Lunau run down the wing. Has the shot, but Jones makes a great save right there. But now here comes Mustafa Mini at the end of the first half. Gives it up to Pogba. Pogba run down the wing. Fake shots around. Has the shot. It's saved by Jones but it's going to be Markan with the goal. His first goal for Anderlecht since signing from Real Madrid. So I believe the Finnish striker puts Anderlecht in the league lead against Liverpool and also is scoring his first goal for the club. Pogba set it up right there. Jones couldn't collect it. And it's Anderlecht 2 and Liverpool 1 going into halftime. So a very solid first half for Anderlecht. So hopefully we can keep this lead. But would be Liverpool with the first tech. Adam Lallana on the ball gives up to Origi. Origi back to Lallana. Inside to has the shot, but it just goes um, saved by Zeller, so a good save right there, but now Van Beek heads the ball away, it's going to be Coates, Coates on the ball right here, he's dribbling it down, goes through a couple defenders, gives it up, it's crossed in, oh, it's Liam Moore with an own goal right there, very disappointing from our young center back as he just puts it into his own net, but now Liverpool looking to take the lead in the 81st minute, it's going to be Jordan Henderson placed outside to Origi, Origi loses the ball, gets it back, plays it through, Karim Benzema has the shot, and oh my, Karim Benzema is having himself a game. A brace for the French striker as he totally puts this ball in the bottom corner and I took Lewis Baker out because the ball was right in front of him and he didn't take it from the player on Liverpool, but here comes Yuri Tielmans, our sub, comes into the game, he stops, he goes around one defender, here he goes, he goes around another defender, has the shot, oh, it's a beautiful left-footed finesse shot by our young Belgian wonder kid, as Yuri Tielmans gives us the tie right here, as we still, I believe, re keep our unbeaten record in the Barclays Premier League, so another late goal keeps that streak intact, so just some crazy games so far this episode, but now we go into our, our third Champions League game, uh, with uh, uh, Anderlecht. I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was saying there. But we go into a game against Celtic, that, so the Scottish Giants are coming to uh, play us, and here's Alexander Mitrovic on the ball early, he's going to go around, he's going to stop, he's going to turn, here he goes, here's the shot, Alexandra Mitrovic with a bullet into the top corner as he scores our second Champions League goal, as he has been the only player on Andrelic to score in the Champions League, makes a move right there on the defender and puts it into the bottom corner, and now here comes v Vieto running on the 
wing. Here he goes. He's running down the wing. He goes to whip in the cross. He gets taken out. It's going to be a penalty for Anderlecht. And I decide to put on Mitrovic for the penalty right here. Looking for his third goal in the Champions League. And he gets it. Puts it right past the Celtic goalkeeper. And he makes it Anderlecht 2. Celtic 0. So a fantastic start for this game for our young Serbian striker. And also for the team in general. Because three points in this game would definitely help us in our quest for going on to the knockout stages of the Champions League. So that would be the end of the first half right here. So a very solid first half. Very pleased with the performance by the team. As now we go into the second half. As Celtic were much better in this half. With Matthews on the ball right here. He plays outside to Griffiths. Griffiths running down. Has the shot. But it just goes off the post so Zeller keeps his clean sheet but now we're running down the wing it's going to be Mitrovic on the ball right here Mitrovic stops he turns he goes around here he goes he's going to have this shot but it's a good save by Gordon the Celtic goalkeeper but now Celtic on the attack again it's going to be Pookie Pookie on the ball gives it up to Kyle Kyle has the shot oh it hits the bar again so some good attacking by Celtic but unfortunately just no end result they just couldn't hit the target hit the post twice and fortunately for them they do lose to nothing so we do look a lot better in our quest for getting into the knockout stages of the Champions League but now we go into the fourth and final game of this episode. It's going to be a game against Stoke City. So here comes Stoke on the attack right here. It's going to be John Shea. John Shea on the ball. Whips in the cross. It's the oop on the header right there and a great cross by John O'Shea and an even better header for Mame Diouf as he makes it Stoke City 1. Andrew like 0 and now Diouf run down the wing again. Here he goes. He's going to cut inside. He gets taken out by Sula. Good tackle. Oh! Not in the referee guys. It's going to be a penalty. I really thought that was a good tackle, but uh, maybe maybe it wasn't as the referee gives a penalty for Stoke. Diouf looking to make it to nothing and he does it, even though Zeller goes the right way. Diouf just too powerful and he scores a brace inside 30 minutes, his 11th goal in all competitions and he makes it. Stoke City 2, Andrew like 0. So maybe our unbeaten run will be coming to an end in this game as we go into halftime down to nothing. But here come Stoke City on the attack again. It's Bojan inside Diouf. Back to Bojan. Bojan plays it back outside to Ness. Ness inside to you. Deep to Ireland. Ireland. He gives it up to Jonathan Walters who has the shot but lost his cheek with an amazing block. And now Nace Nake with the throw inside to Paul Pogba. Pogba stops. He's going to turn. Here comes Paul Pogba. Pogba going around. He's still going. Paul Pogba keeps the streak alive. And hopefully he can bag another one to keep another streak alive. Scoring in every game and hopefully keep our, our unbeaten run. But here's Ake. Another throw into Pogba. It's Edu on the clearance but it's a poor one. It's Paul Pogba Garasso! Paul Pogboom makes it. Anderlecht 2, Stoke City 2. His, I believe it said 10th league goal, which is tops in the league. A fantastic finesse shot from right inside the area. And that keeps our unbeaten run going. We just can't seem to lose right now. So many late winners, but that will wrap it up for this episode of the Andrew Career Mode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Andrew Career Mode videos.